Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 116, NASDAQ up 13, S&P's, uh, NASDAQ up 46, S&P's up 13, gold contract, gold contract flat at $1,510. We had silver also flat, $18.03. Light sweet crude up 33 cents, $56.53 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year down 13 ticks, trading at 129.19. The 30 year off a full point and five ticks at 159.15. Now, both notes as well as bonds, folks, they pull back into their strength from last week. Last week, they went topside with conviction. That's wide price spread, accelerated volume. That is saying that they still want higher price. So it's going to be intriguing watching how this is going to play out the next couple of days because your swing point inside the note, in the 10 year note market is from September 13th, which is 128.16. When we just came down last week, we only got down to 129.01. Tremendously light of volume, to give you an idea, is at 1.1 million contracts going against 2.4. Today, what we did, we did 1 million contracts going against 2.2. Uh, so you can see the correlation there. The correlation is gonna need a lot more volume on the way down. If we do go take a look at the TLT, which has the volume as well as the price together, uh, this is the 20-year bond fund ETF. You're going to see the same type of setup. We're down $1.85. You're going into 10.9 million shares. Uh, we did 11 million shares. And then you're going into the larger benchmark, which is 18 million. Uh, we had gone up uh, two days ago on 15 million to pull back in 11. And that benchmark there that you are trading into is just the one third. Actually, this is pretty cool. We're right at the high of the low of the benchmark of the 13th inside the TLT. That number is 138.71, and that's exactly where we closed today. So it's 11 million versus the uh, 18 million. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's going to go after, I suspect it's going to go after that swing point. The bottom line is that it's going to need a lot more volume in order to break that down. Right now, the 10-year yield, we are still at 1.78. After the close out here, Uber. Uber's going to be the uh, one of the big ones out here, folks. That thing has been getting slammed uh, for a good amount of time. They're expecting a 10% uh, move uh, in Uber after the close. Now, that move, expected move, is up or down. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Stay right here. Return with Larry tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. TFNN has put together the